Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 best upcoming 2024 adventure bikes worth to wait first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. The 2024 BMW R1300GS finally teased ahead of official unveil. The new R1300GS is about to debut in less than 10 days. The BMW R1300GS is one of the most hotly anticipated motorcycles for MY24, thanks to a gazillion spy shots and oodles of leaked information. Yet, the Bavarian giant has never teased the motorcycle. All we got was a launch date confirmation in June when the company celebrated the production of its 1 millionth boxer-powered GS. That has finally changed now, as BMW Motorrad has officially teased its biggest GS for the first time. The teaser shows the new BMW R1300 GS doing what you would want to do with a tackle off-road. Much of the motorcycle is hidden under the splash but we can still see a couple of details. For instance, the 1300 appears visibly slimmer than the outgoing R1250 GS. The beak up top is noticeably different, and so is the opposite end. A closer look also reveals the metallic boomerang-shaped side panel that boasts BMW's new cutout GS logo. Other details that we know but aren't visible here include handguard-mounted turn signals and a 3-in-1 tail light setup, reminiscent of the BMW S1000RR. Plus, you'll get new cast alloy wheels, an integrated LED headlight still a single-piece unit, and a compact new exhaust, all adding to the slimmed-down aesthetic. Lastly, we believe the GS in the teaser is either the Rally or GS Trophy variant, given the spoke wheels and handguards. The 2024 Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL750 Transalp, certifying the mid-sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the ICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the 6-speed gearbox.
Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 best option upcoming 2024 adventure motorcycles worth to wait first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa Twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 rpm. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 mm. That's 5 mm, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase. Three variants of Versus 1000 will be available to European customers in 2024 with standard S and SE models on offer and two new color options available across what amounts to 12 model options. Offering an entry point into the exciting leader class Versus 1000 stable, the standard model of Versus shares many of the attributes of the other two machines in the range including assist and slipper clutch, electronic cruise control, three-mode Kawasaki traction control plus selectable power modes and integrated anti-lock braking. Additionally, like each machine in the range, the standard machine is also available in a number of addition model types from Kawasaki dealers covering Tourer, Tourer Plus, and Grand Tourer making the overall range option an impressive 12 models. A midpoint in the range, the Versus 1000S replaces the analog-style meter of the standard machine with a full-color TFT display that can also be paired via Bluetooth to the rider's smartphone relaying a vast array of information via the Kawasaki Radiology app. As part of an overall specification that includes an IMU enhanced electronics package, the S adopts a dual direction quick shifter plus LED cornering lights and rider selectable integrated riding modes. And from a practical perspective, a large height adjustable windscreen, handguards and grip heaters all feature in the specification. Topping out the three machine range, plus addition variants, is the Versus 1000 SE encompassing all of the advanced electronic, technical and engineering features of the S model adding an extra layer of rider convenience via the adoption of Showa electronically damped suspension. The much-discussed optical unit split in two, the so-called split face, now seems to be at the end of its days. 
A new stylistic era is about to arrive at KTM, at least judging by the spy photos circulating on the net. The first pictures of the next one KTM Super Adventure, they date back to last November 2022, but in recent days other images that appeared on the forum. EU forum and taken from social networks and sector publications have been added. The element that immediately catches the eye concerns precisely the front which, as in the case of the Super Duke paparazzi in a prototype guise already last autumn, abandons the element divided lengthwise in two for a new structure based on two LED projectors arranged one above the other. In particular, in the new images of the Super Adventure, the front appears to be even more developed with the daytime running lights forming a sort of LED frame. Furthermore, a cover on the upper lamp suggests the presence of the radar sensor more integrated into the design of the front compared to the current one. They are also original large integrated turn signals which could also have a cornering function. The images suggest that there is no glass to cover the entire optical group and therefore the new face of the KTM 1390 Super Duke could be just that. Sure, cleaning it from the midges will be fun. We think it could also increase the hissing, but will remain in doubt until we have it before our eyes. And speaking of glass and rustling, on the prototype photograph, there is also an additional deflector on the upper part of the windshield, certainly useful for some tests. It's shaping up to be a pretty interesting year for Big Boar Adventure Bike News. As we head into the weeks before the Euro manufacturers typically release their new machines, Ben Purvis over at Bike Social says he's found evidence that KTM is working on a 1390 V twin, presumably to be launched soon. The information comes from poking around KTM's parts ordering system and finding references to a new 1390 engine. Wait, does that mean we? The Piaggio and Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto, Guzzi dealerships. As its name suggests, the Stelvio draws a lot of inspiration from the existing V100 Mandelo. So the new adventure bike flaunts the same Guzzi special design language, complete with a distinct LED headlight and tail lamp. However, there's no shortage of bespoke elements here. The Stelvio boasts a new edgy fender up top, flanked by muscular side panels that merge into the radiator shrouds. The tank looks different too, and interestingly, we can't spot Moto Guzzi's unique adaptive aerodynamic flaps here. Instead, the tank now has beefy indents, possibly to help lock the knees when standing up. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek grab rails. This is partnered by a short, new exhaust with a dual-tone finish. Meanwhile, the overall ruggedness has increased, thanks to a tall, transparent windscreen, spoke wheels, and handguards, all missing on the existing ADV. Rounding off the design is a set of new color options. The 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Gray in October 2023. 
MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenor AES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New Interface The T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog-style design, Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED Turn Signals The 2024 Tenere 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter The T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter, which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. The Quickshifter allows for smoother and quicker gear shifts without the need for clutch usage. Expanded ABS Modes Yamaha has improved the ABS mode offerings for the 2024 T7. Instead of only having on or off options, riders can now choose from three different modes. Mode 1 for full ABS activation on both front and rear wheels. Mode 2 with ABS activated only for the front wheel. And Mode 3 with ABS turned off completely. Regarding other returning Yamaha models for 2024, there are no significant updates or changes in specifications for the 2024 Yamaha Super Tenere ES. 2024 XT250, and 2024 TW200. Suzuki has launched the V-Strum 800D Rally Edition in France. Compared to the standard model, the Rally Edition comes with new components. That said, the Rally Edition is currently only offered in the international markets. The V-Strum 800D is positioned above the V-Strum 650 XT. It was just back in November 2022 that the V-Strum 800D was unveiled globally. What's new in the Suzuki V-Strum 800D Rally Edition? While the design of the bike is the same as the regular model, there are a few differences. One of these is the new guard around the front fairing and a one more guard for the engine casing. From the photos, it also appears to get a different belly pan as well. All these changes are made to ensure a better off-road ability of the motorcycle. In terms of hardware, the V-Strum 800D Rally Edition comes with a fully adjustable upside-down front forks front and a rear monoshock. The rear monoshock is adjustable for both preload and rebound. Braking duties are handled by 310mm dual discs at front and a single 260mm disc at the back. The brakes come with dual-channel ABS as well. The bike rides of 21-inch front and 17-inch rear spoke rims shod in Bridgestone AX41 off-road ready tires. Powertrain of the Suzuki V-Strum 800D Rally Edition The bike comes with the same 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin motor. This unit develops 84 bhp and 78 newton meters of peak torque. The rider can choose from three ride modes, and comes with Suzuki Intelligent Ride System. Apart from this the bike also gets ride-by-wire, quickshifter, low RPM assist and easy start. Suzuki V-Strum 800D Rally Edition launches in France. Our neighbors across the channel have a new options pack to add to the Suzuki V-Strum 800D.
The Multistrada V4S Grand Tour has everything you need to explore the world with total control and the utmost freedom. Experience the ultimate pleasure of touring your way. Ducati officially introduced the newest member of the Multistrada family, the 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour. With a name like that, an informed motorcyclist would probably expect it to be a vehicle packed with all kinds of the bells and whistles that serious touring riders want. Those riders would be right, as this bike comes with a lot of standard features that those who spend long amounts of time in the saddle tend to appreciate. The heart of the 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour is, as ever, the 1,158 cubic centimeters V4 Gran Turismo engine. It makes a claimed 170 horsepower and 125 newton meters or approximately 92 pound feet of torque. Moreover, it was designed with the convenience of long-distance touring riders in mind in terms of maintenance intervals. Ducati recommends oil changes on this engine once every two years or 1,000 kilometers or 9,000 miles, and valve clearance checks once every 60,000 kilometers or 36,000 miles. The 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour is equipped with four ride modes, Sport, Touring, Enduro, and Urban. Both Sport and Touring allow access to the full range of the V4 GT's power, while Enduro and Urban both dial it back to 84 kilowatts, or 112.6 horsepower to better accommodate those types of riding. For both functionality and touring comfort, the 2024 Ducati Facing increased competition in the middleweight adventure bike segment, BMW has decided to update its mid-sized adventure lineup with three new models. The F800GS, the F900GS, and the F900GS Adventure. Arriving in early 2024, the new bikes offer improvements over the current F750GS and F850GS models, with more powerful engines, new electronic tech as standard, new bodywork. And for the F900GS models, a slew of improvements over the previous 850. All three new models share an updated version of BMW's parallel twin engine previously found in the 750GS and 850GS models, which has seen its capacity increase from 853 cubic centimeters up to 895 cubic centimeters. This sees the F900GS and F900GS Adventure turn out 105 brake horsepower at 8 500 RPM and 93 Newton meters at 6 750 RPM, which is an increase of 10 brake horsepower over the current F850GS. Meanwhile, the new F800GS has 87 brake horsepower to work with at 6, 750 RPM and 91 Newton meters at the same revs, which is also an increase of 10 brake horsepower over the F750GS.